Good morning, Gin Dobre, and welcome to Torun, the home of Gingerbread Home. And this guy behind me, right here, Nicolas Copernicus, the best preserved medieval town in Poland. Join me for today as I'm gonna be exploring this beautiful town. Welcome to one of the two colorful squares here in Torun. This is called Rynek Nowomiejski, it's the new square. The church behind me over there, St. James Church, was built for the purpose of serving this new square. And then this street is surrounded by beautiful tenant houses, just like you see in many old Polish cities. See my friend Donkey here? He's here for a reason. You guys can see this? People who used to gossip were set on here for six to eight hours here as a public punishment so people could look at them and know that they were gossiping for whatever reason. And that is the old town right underneath me. The best views of Torunia from the tower here located right in the central square. It is 16 zloty to get in, which is about four US dollars, but well worth the views. The Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a must. It is a very tall structure that you could see from the city center. It is beautiful inside the paintings, the carvings, the statues. It's just incredible. It's one of my favorite churches now that I've been here. Well, there's a lot going on here. To my left is the University of Nicolas Copernicus, the famous astronomer. Behind me to my right, this is a prison built in the beginning of the 20th century. Right behind me over here is a planetarium. It's fitting a planetarium is here where probably Nicolas Copernicus studied astronomy. Torun has about 200,000 citizens. It's a lot smaller than your popular Krakow, Warszawa, and all that stuff. It does get a lot of tourists. This is a beautiful city. And what's very cool is this is one of the few cities that remained 
not destroyed by the World War II. So everything that you see in the city is it's an original shape. Pierniki, Kraina Pierników, otherwise known as gingerbread. Gingerbread is what Torun is known for. And today I'm going to take you to a museum so we can learn a little bit more about it. I made my own gingerbread. I'm gonna continue exploring the city of Torun, show you more beautiful places. There's a leaning tower of Torun, which you may not have known about. Yes, let's go check it out. The Leaning Tower of Torun, the legend has it, the, it was built by the Teutonic Knights after he was caught being with a woman which was a deviance against the Teutonic Order. So as a punishment, they made him create this leaning crooked tower, imperfect, showing his deviance against the Order. putting out your hand while trying to lean against the tower. If you fail, that means your heart is impure. Apparently my heart is impure, I'm sorry. Home of Mikołaj Kopernik, a famous astronomer who over 500 years ago published a finding that Earth was not the center of the universe, but rather that the planets were both around the sun. He was born in this beautiful building. He was born to a very rich family. He studied, among other things, astronomy, medicine, and economics. He is also one of Torun's most famous residents, and you'll find his statues around this town. Mikołaj Kopernik was actually baptized in this church. Let's go have a look inside. A lot of YouTubers that I see on YouTube, they don't go check out the churches and they're so beautiful. When you come to Torun, when you come to Poland, we have a lot of history within these walls, so check it out. Torun is beautiful. One of my favorite cities I think that I've ever been to. It's small, but it has so much history and so much beauty around in the buildings. And of course, if I didn't mention it already, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So all this old piece of old town is protected. I am here on the old ruins of the Teutonic castle that was destroyed by the Poles. The Teutonic Order had control of this beautiful city. It was one of their first fortresses preceding the biggest castle in the world in Malborg, which you can visit. It's about a two hours train ride from here. After the Teutonic Knights or Krzyżacy have been defeated, the Poles decided it was best to destroy the castle so that they would not come back. Now it's been slowly bit turned into a museum of some sort, so you can get a glimpse of what the history back then was like. I 
want to show you guys more of what I eat around the different countries that I visit. So here in Torun, I'm gonna try out the Piero Garnia. They serve traditional Polish food and they're highly rated on Google. So let's go give it a try. So you may be wondering what this is. This is the bread that was baked here in the restaurant. This is lard with the pieces of bacon and onion pickles. Traditional Polish starter. And then if you've ever heard of kompot, it is boiled fruit with added sugar and it's very delicious, very refreshing, especially in the summer. Mmm, really good. And for the mains, we have pierogi. These are made with cheese, mushrooms, and a little bit slice of chicken. I 100% underestimated those pierogi. They were huge. I was only able to finish three of them and I am stuffed. That is all from Torun, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a beautiful preserved medieval city here in Torun. I hope you guys consider coming here when you come to Poland next time and I hope you guys are enjoying my adventures here in Poland. I'm so happy to be showing you my home country. And that is all. I'll be going to Poznań tomorrow and I'll be showing you that. I'll be telling you the story of two goats. So stay tuned and join me next week. Do zobaczenia, trzymajcie się and goodbye.